Hey everybody, welcome to PixelHangover.com. Today we've got some more Forza Horizon action, but a little different. We're going to cover a couple of subjects. One of them is really, uh, you know, kind of breaking news. Not really news, but it's, it came out today. So Windows 8 hit PCs everywhere today, or any PC that bought it anyways. There's a, and it's a totally new Windows. But along with it is something called Smart Glass. Now this is going to be available on your iPad, iPhone, Android devices, and blah, 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 and on your Windows 8 machine. And if you're not familiar with uh, Windows 8 and how it connects, it's got a lot of connection to, uh, say, your Xbox 360. I mean, it is, you sign in with your Microsoft account when you load in Windows 8. Well, Smart Glass is something that certain games will take advantage of. Basically, it turns your PC, laptop, uh, tablet, whatever, into a connection of what you're doing in real time. So... As we sit here in Forza Horizon, as the day just goes by here, I'm going to go ahead and fire up Smart Glass. Now, what it does is it goes out, and it, because Smart Glass is connected to my same account as my 360 account, it goes, hey, you're playing a game right now that supports Smart Glass. Hold on a second. Let me load things up. So that's what's happening. It's actually, you know, I just clicked the button. It's firing up, and we're going to get a notification in-game that I'm connected to my PC. A couple things happen well, with Forza Horizon, that's very cool, that uh, we really haven't seen in any other any game that I, that, that I can think of. Uh, there we go. u 2 num connected with Smart Glass. That right there means that, okay, my game, my 360 is talking to my, my laptop right now that has Windows 8 in it. What The first thing you're going to see is it's actually going to fill your screen on your PC, tablet, whatever, with the Forza Horizon world, the map, the full map. Now, it's not just a map to look pretty. It's actually real-time GPS. So um, uh, imagine if you had the map pulled up and you have a little arrow indicating which way your car is pointed. That's exactly what it looks like. So as I drive along this road, it's actually moving that you know cursor along, showing me where I am. So if it did that, it'd be like, oh, that's kind of cool. That's a neat novelty, whatever. I mean, yeah, there's my map. You can see you can filter on events and all that kind of stuff just to see what's going on. But it goes a little bit farther than that, because actually what I can do is I can actually um, set a waypoint in the game from my tablet, my PC, whatever. So this is if I were to go and set an, I can go in here and set a nav point. Ah, you know, that's, that's, that's how you in-game set that nav point. But if I wanted to do this on my PC, I'm gonna, I can go over here, find a spot that I want to, and as soon as, you, as, soon as I, I click it, you're going to see it actually happen in game. You're going to get the arrow right there. Boom. Just set a nav point. I didn't bring up the menu or the, the map. You saw that, right? So that's where, you know, I can go over there and I can zoom out. I can see a good chunk of the map and see, okay, where do I want to go? Click and I'm there. Now, if I have my tablet on my lap, I can see that being pretty handy. So right now I'm going to see, see if I can go ahead and clear out this thing. Um, I think if you set it, yes, I'm trying to clear it. I think you have to set it in game. So let, let me, let me, let me try my Windows 8. To set a new nav point. I don't know if you're gonna see it change much, but because I'm gonna go the same direction, but let me see if I can clear this out here. That is one thing. There we go. So okay. So I changed it, and you see it went right to the right. Now I changed uh, the direction I want that nav point to go, and I go back this way. So there we go. So that's me changing it on my PC. For in game. Now the cool thing is you can actually highlight events that I can obviously put a marker to, um, but and it'll give you a little, little, little like what you know what the event is, what the money is, the little thing that you have to do before you set a waypoint, stuff like that. So it has this you know really cool interactivity with it. Now it, now is it you know is it mind blowing? No, but it is really cool how quick and, and seamless it works, and it actually really shows the potential of what Smart Glass could be. I can see dev, devs getting really crazy with this and having some really cool uh, interactions. I mean, uh, I, the, the, the possibilities are endless because it is so uh, streamlined. So this is one of the first games that has any inter, you know, interactivity with Smart Glass. Uh, Dance Central 3 is another one. But ultimately, you can also control your completely 360 with it. You can sit there and use it as a remote and, and a lot of stuff on the dashboard. But I think the stuff that's in-game... Um, is very cool. Uh, unfortunately, you have to be careful because as as I'm messing with my PC, I'm having a hard time driving here. So that is something that, you know, because I, I can only have my laptop right now, it's not out for Android tablets just yet. I hope it will be. It's out for Android phones, iPad, iPhone, and Windows phone right now. 
but uh, it, it, it truly is an extension of your 360 and kind of, I, I guess there, you know, the, the people are touting the fact that, well, it could be, it, it kind of, in a way, be a Wii U killer because it has multi-touch and stuff like that, uh, your tablets and so forth, which the Wii U doesn't have. But I don't think they're really going for that. I think they're just going for something that I hope next gen is huge because, I mean, I can only imagine what, like I said, devs are going to be able to do. So the, that's the first part <laughs> of this video. I wanted to just talk about uh, smart glass inter uh, integration with Forza Horizon and, and how slim seamless it is and how cool it is and in Windows 8 you can actually snap it to like two-thirds of the of the uh, of the screen and, and the other the other third can be a Skype or whatever you want so the other thing I want to talk about in this video just quickly is uh, is car clubs uh, so you if you if you're not familiar with the game if you're not familiar with uh, Forza 4 you could form a car club and and join it with a bunch of friends. Now that's cool, whatever. But one of the cool features they had in Forza 4 and has returned for Horizon is the is the ability to share cars. So, say you have a group of you know you can have up to 100 people, I believe, in a car club. But say you have a few people in there. We have, I think, five in our club right now. Um, if someone has a really cool car or one that you know you know you don't want to afford, uh, they can put it in the car club garage. This car right here, the Bugatti, I do not own. I do not own it. But my friend, uh, Mr. The Edge, who's really good at this game, uh, you know, went ahead and bought this car, tuned it up, put in some nice parts, and then shared it in the club garage. Now that doesn't mean that he gives it up. You know, he can still race it. But what he's saying is, hey, I have this car. Anybody in the club can race this. Now there are some restrictions. Number one, uh, you can race it online. That's kind of the where most people are going to use them. I haven't done it yet, but that's that was kind of the. The use for it uh, in Forza 4. The other thing is, which is really cool, is this is my single player game. You can't race it, but you can test drive it. Now, test drive basically means drive it anywhere you want in the world. Yeah, you all your challenges and stuff like that get unlocked. So here we go. Pixel Hangover. That's our, our uh, club. If you want to join, you know, go ahead and shoot. You know, jo join us up. We got some good racers in there, and always looking to to expand that. We just started it, so. I'm gonna go over to my garage and I'm gonna switch to a car that I do own. What are we doing here ride today? Going down to change car, and I'll go over to my pretty Lotus, nice bright green color. One of my favorite, more more favorite cars that, that I've played just early on, level A. So I don't own that Bugatti. I, I haven't spent the money on it. Haven't haven't bothered with it at all. So here I am in a car that I do own. So I'm going to head on over, back over to our club, which is on the other side of uh, the ring here, if you're familiar with the game. This is kind of like the, the the main menu of the game, really. You can go to uh, all the main parts right through here. So I'm going to go into our car club. It's Pixel Hangover. That's our car club. And go on down to Club Garage. All right, so you have leaderboards, rankings. You got Club Garage. Right in there lives the Bugatti that Mr. The Edge, you can see that shared today. A uh, number of races is really cool, too. So. If people use it online, you can see how many people have used it from the club online. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this and say, uh, I'm gonna go. You can unshare it because I'm head of the club, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go test drive this thing. I'm gonna go see if this is uh, all it's cracked up to be. You know, why did he put it up there? That kind of thing. And uh, it's a beast. <laughs> so I can go and drive around the world. In my this is single player now. I am not in multiplayer. I once again cannot enter any races or anything like that but I can as you'll see I'm earning points I can actually set times on speed zones you saw that as I drove to the festival not not too long ago um, you gotta be sometimes when you hit pick a car that's about four times faster than any other car that you have uh, you gotta get used to it but uh, as you can see I have that that still have a marker on my map from my smart glass but I don't I don't have time to look over and adjust that so I just wanted to show that, you know, even though um, you can't race single player races with them, it's a little more flexible than it was with Forza 4 because you can actually test drive this and get, see, I'm, I'm earning challenges. I'm actually ranking up in the single player by driving around. Now, of course, you can pick this and you can go cruise with friends and free roam, but the gist of it and what most people, oh, sorry, looking at my smart glass, um, what most people will use this for is online races, racing, and that helps out a lot. I remember in Forza 4, we had quite a few cars in there, and so at any point, if I needed a specific level and I knew that it was tuned and really ready to go, 
I could pick one I could count on my club members. So those are the two things I wanted to cover. Smart glass integration just came out today. If you have Windows 8 or if you have a, you know anything that connects, I highly suggest it. Now, real key, and I forgot to mention this, if you want to turn on smart glass, you have to do it in your settings. It's underneath your Xbox 360 system settings and uh, boy, it's in there. It, it actually tells you when you fire up smart glass, hey, I can't find your Xbox. You need to go do these settings. So just keep in mind there is a setting in there too. It's under sharing. It's under sharing or something like that. You're going to want to turn that on. Otherwise, it won't find it. But as soon as you do, boom, it connects it right away. And there's there's proof right there that you can actually set speed zones uh, with a car that you're borrowing. You're just test driving. I think that's pretty cool. So if you're interested in joining a, a car club with some really cool guys and you want to share some cars or you know, race some of us to race the cars, uh, Pixel Hangover. And uh, we'll get you in the club. So thanks for checking out the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it uh, cleared up some things about smart class and so forth. So. Uh, see you on the roads.